All right, good morning, boys and girls. So hopefully you're tuning into this video because you finished your financial literacy packet and you clicked up your answers in Schoology. So now we are going to take some notes, some quick notes over perimeter. So I'm in my jam on the next clean page and at the top I'm going to write the word perimeter. We're going to start these notes today, but we'll come back to these notes later on in the year when we're talking about area and volume. We'll put perimeter, area, and volume together at that time. But for right now, we're only talking about perimeter. So go ahead and write your title at the top. So if you think back to what is perimeter, when you thought about this in third and fourth grade, it was the distance around an object. Some examples, whoops, that pen doesn't work. Some examples of perimeter would be the fence, the fence outlines, your backyard. Sometimes when we want to th think about perimeter, we want to think about the outline of a figure. And there are other examples of when we use perimeter, but mainly what I want you to remember today is perimeter is the distance around the rim. And that's what you're going to be doing today. So you should have a paper that you have received and it looks like this. It says using compatible pairs to add ones and tenths, but it is also calculating the perimeter of each quadrilateral. And so I want you to tune into the next video so we can talk about using compatible numbers to find and calculate the perimeter of these quadrilaterals.